Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kevin. We're going to do a little project today. Uh, might take a couple days, but I'm going to do a little project here on uh, building a small... Um, I'm looking for something with a paper... I want a paper towel holder and a small mirror on here with a little shelf. I have a little hunting cabin. I need something to put in front of the sink. So I thought we'd use some of this old pallet wood and make us up a nice little shelf with a mirror with a paper towel holder underneath of it. So. Uh, Let's see how it goes. Okay, this is some of the wood I'm going to use. It's uh, not the greatest, but um, it's uh, going to be good wood for a shelf. It's got some cracks in it. It's not that pretty, but I'm sure when we're done, it'll look nice. But uh, that's the wood we're going to use. Okay, of course, when you're building something like this, you don't have a blueprint or a pattern to go by. You just go by what you uh, what you want. And I'd like to have a 12 by 12 mirror up here, 12 inches by 12 inches. I'd like to have a small shelf with a paper towel holder underneath of it. So I'm probably going to cut this, I'm thinking about 28 inches. And uh, our paper towel holder, uh, we got more than enough room here because the paper towels are only 11 inches. A uh, roll of paper towels is only 11 inches. So that's going to give me more than enough room to get a pair, roll of paper towels in there. Uh, so let's get these, we'll go ahead and get them cut off at 28 inches. Okay, we uh, cut these off. I didn't go 28 inches. Things changed. What I did was I come down, it's 25 and a quarter because the leftover, what I had left, I wanted it to be able to go across here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut small strips out of this so I can put them on the back of this to hold this thing, whole thing together. And that left me with one piece here. It's a little rough, but I'll cut it up. And then I have another one here that I could use for the shelf. So I can use this one for the shelf, and hopefully I'll run into some more here to where I can make my little brackets hanging down here. So anyhow, we're kind of using all the wood up that we can. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a few of these little strips. I'll cut them into strips so we can put them on the back of this to hold this whole thing together. Okay, I'll bring this over on the table. I got this LED light up here. It gives me a little more light to see with and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see better. We're going to take a little bit of liquid nail. Uh, hopefully we got enough here. And we're going to put a little bit of liquid nail on these. And uh, I got them measured out there about... Just spread them out enough to where got a lot of support all the way through it so I'm gonna do a little liquid now and then we'll get these guys nailed on. Okay now that's all sturdied up here pretty good. I think this is gonna be a nice base to our mirror. So that's what we're going to end up with. And as I could see, my nails came through, so I didn't think they were that long. But we'll, they'll be okay. We'll, we'll get them nipped off here and we'll make it look right. Okay. All right, our nails come out in little split places here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap them, tap them back down flush. I don't, think, I don't think all of them came out, but... If we want it to look right, hey, we'll throw it outside and let it rust up a little bit. But I think they're going to be just fine. Okay, we took a punch and we punched all the little nails down in this thing. Now I'm going to run a little bit of sandpaper over this thing just to kind of brighten it up just a little bit because it is pretty, uh, it's pretty, uh, dirty. pretty dirty. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
I know they come through a little bit, but I don't want the sander. I, I, we're going to probably sand over it. This will scuff over it. So, but that's going to be our base. Now we're going to work on um, getting our shelf on there. We'll do a little bit of sanding first, but we're going to put a shelf on here. So, okay, we got it sanded down. It's looking pretty nice. I'm not a little disappointed because the nails came through. I'm going to have to pay more attention next time when I'm building something that the nails don't come through. I kind of bent them over. I don't think they're going to be that noticeable, but I don't like it. But there's nothing I can do about it now. It's done. So uh, now we're going to start working on our shelf. And I think this piece of wood right here is going to make a nice nice shelf. Uh, you may cut it down just a little bit. I don't need too big of a shelf. I want it to look decent, you know. So I may cut this one down just a little bit. Uh, so let me think about that and I'll get back with you there. Okay, we cut our um, shelf just a tiny bit smaller than what the, uh, the board here is. And then we, <clears throat> we kind of rounded the edge here, rounded the edge here which I think will make a nice little shelf. Now I measured across here and I measured the same distance from here. Now I want to put a 12 by 12 mirror on here. Uh, so I'll put this shelf about right here. I got it marked, you probably can't see it, but it'll sit about right there. Now that'll still give me enough room down here to put my paper towels. Uh, I think it's gonna work out just fine. I may even move that down a little bit more because if you want to put a bar of soap or something on top of there so you know like I said there's no blueprints you just do them as you feel fit so maybe I will maybe I'll move this down a little bit and uh, remark it and then I can put a bar of soap here if I want to wash my hands or whatever I'll have a uh, somewhere to put my stuff and it won't be up in the mirror space so we're going to keep going. Now I'm going to work on, I'll measure this down, I'll get my distance, and I'll set that into place. Then I'm going to make a couple brackets here where I'm going to put my paper towel holder and my mount my shelf on. All right, we've got a couple uh, little braces here we're going to put underneath our shelf. I'm not going to drill my hole through these yet. I think I'll be okay drilling them while it's on. But uh, because I haven't figured out my rod yet, I'm going to put through here. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and get this uh, little shelf put up. Uh, get it mounted on there. Okay, we just clamped this thing together. We glued it, and then I used some just some nails in it. I think we're going to have a nice looking shelf here. Um, now we're going to work on getting it mounted to the uh, backboard. But uh, like I said, I always like the nail and glue. So, or screw it and glue it, whatever way you want to do it. But I like to have it make sure it's a couple different ways. All right, we got the uh, holder, paper towel holder on there and got the holes drilled in it. Now we're gonna just, we're gonna take the torch and we're gonna heat this up and burn where we got uh, the new cut. Heat it up, give it a little more color. That way it ain't, don't look like it's a fresh cut. Okay everyone, we got our little uh, rod for our paper towels on here. We got it burnt up. I took a little bit of sandpaper, like a, a hundred grit, and went over it and tried any blotchy spots where the black was. I just sand, sanded them off a little bit. So what we got to do now is we got to get our mirror mounted on here. And then we're going to give this thing a coat, a coat of either clear or I might do a, um, a just a satin uh, finish on this. Okay, we got our rod for our paper towels on here, and we got it burnt pretty good. We, we you went over it with a torch, and then we went over it with a 100 sandpaper. Uh, just any blotchy spots, like where it might have been too dark, I just took the sandpaper over it. And uh, as you can see, it's turned out pretty good. It's hard for me to get light on it for you to see it, but uh, we're going to get the mirror mounted on there, and then uh, we're going to get uh, probably a coat of like a satin uh, clear coat on this. We don't want it to be shiny. We want it to look a little old, so we'll probably do some type of satin clear coat.
other night at a hometown football game. Okay, guys, we got the uh, mirror. We went to Lowe's, got a whole pack of them, like 12 of them for like 9 bucks or something, or 10 bucks. We cut some old lath board, and I, I, I cut a slot in the back so the mirror would fit in it. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get these in a, uh, a clamp and get them uh, glued and nailed together, and then I'll sand them down a little bit and put a little bit of the clear coat on, and then we'll go ahead and get it attached onto there. Okay guys, we got the uh, the mirror frame made and we got the uh, mirror in there. And we're going to eyeball this thing up a little bit and get it centered up and we're going to nail it. Now, I wasn't going to do this on camera but I'm going to do it anyhow. I'm going to nail it. If it breaks, we'll just have to make a new one. So, or we, we actually have lots of mirrors so we're in good shape if it breaks. Okay guys, we got the frame on there and we got the mirror in there. Uh, we was going to do that on camera, but my battery went dead, so... But it's no big deal, just laid it down there and nailed it into place. Hey guys, the uh, mirror and the paper towel holder is all finished. Uh, we got us a little shelf on there, it all looks good. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.